This video is brought to you by Zavi. Simply follow the link on screen or click the link in the description of this video to head over to the Zavi website and redeem our awesome discount codes to get money off of your favourite Doctor Who TV movie and gaming merchandise. Follow the link and use the Whoaddicts 20 for 20% off all clothing merch or use the Whoaddicts 10 for 10% off anything and everything on the Zavi website. Enjoy the video. Hey there guys, Matthew here and welcome back to the Retro Reviews. This is the fifth or sixth time we've left the Retro Reviews for a period and then came back after another long period. We will complete the entirety of the Retro Reviewing series one day. Yes, one day. It might not be today, it might not be next year, it probably won't even be the year after that or, <laughs> or even the decade after that. But we will get there as today is our 62nd episode of the Retro Reviewing series where we are of course going to be reviewing the episode that we watched live on the YouTube channel. Sunday just gone, a lot of you guys were there, a lot of you guys joined us as always. If you are new, you don't know every Sunday me and Liv sit down live on this road channel. Depending on if it's this week, the week after, we will rotate between watching a classic, watching a modern, then we review it on the channel. Modern episodes of course are a part of the Retro Reviews which is what we're doing today. And we watched Night Terrors. Indeed from series six and uh, Night Terrors is an episode that I've it's one of them few episodes where I've not watched it in absolutely years like I think yeah. before before t before Sunday I think the last time I watched Night Terrors was when I first showed you and we first marathoned the entirety of the modern era for the very first time which is going back six, seven years mm, ago now. Definitely. So it's got to have been only your second time. Yes. So I, I've, I've forgotten... I've always had a bad experience as well with Series 6. Yeah. It's... um If if um, if um you guys don't know, me and Series 6 do not get along on... on yeah. I don't get along either with <laughs> Series 6. No one does. Um, not an easy series to, to get along with. No, it isn't. But, Listen. yeah, I, A Night Terrors, it's one of the episodes that you just never really go back to watch, do you? It's just, it is the definition mm. of an episode that exists. It's sat in the middle of a series, completely, apart from maybe a bit at the end, completely unrelated to the story arc, and you just forget that it's there. Um, I, 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 I remember when it got picked out and I was thinking, oh, it's like, eh? I don't remember anything from uh, from this episode at all. In, but, uh, in, and um, in, in both for me on Sunday, so it literally felt like um, as I was watching it for the first time again. Yeah, it did for me as well. Um, because literally had no clue about what happened. But uh, but in a way, so I was pleasantly surprised with it. Yeah, it's not up there as one of my favourites, but at the same time, so it isn't down there. So it's one of the worst. No, I, I, the the expectation and the memory I had of it was it was just average and it was there and, it, you know, mm. it, it was there to fill up the gap and, you know, they needed an episode that week so they put the script together and it's not really remembered in either respect of, a, of being a fan favourite or one that's particularly bad either. It, it, it is just there um, and people just... Acknowledge it for being there, and if if they marathon it, they'll watch it. If they're not doing a marathon, they they probably won't pick it off the shelf. Mm. So I was sort of going into this thinking, well, it was all right, but because I'd not seen it in so long, there were a lot of parts of it that I'd just completely forgotten, mm. and that actually made the view a little bit better because there was a lot of things that happened that I just completely forgot. Like I'd forgotten. And this is the crux of the ending. I, I'd forgotten that George was an alien. Completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd forgotten that was a thing. I'd forgotten about the cupboard. I'd forgotten about everything. The only thing I remembered was the dolls. Yeah. And that Amy gets turned into one. Yeah, at yeah. At one point. So, yeah. Apart from that, it was like watching a brand new story, which definitely made it better. Oh, uh, yeah, it did. And uh, in watching it, um, really, 
and um, the viewing was decent to watch. Yeah, it was. It was decent to hear. It was because uh, because um, so when it first came on, and and um, even George, who, who who played George, do you know? I don't know the act's name. But and um, as soon as George comes on, I uh, and um, so all of a sudden I was thinking, oh, ch- ch- children, child actors. For me, uh, 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 like really, like hit and miss. That was the one thing that yeah. was, was stuck in my head. For some reason, I thought that he, he was a poor child actor, but to so be actually, fair, I was he surprised. wasn't. Yeah, it was actually really good. Um, and well, a, and well, a child actor to be fair. Jamie Oram. Oh. Or Aram was his name, from what mm. I can see. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll delve deeper into into, into the story. So obviously, the crux of it, um is that the doctor gets a distress a distress call from a child from George um wants to be saved from the monsters you know standard doctor who stuff the doctor somehow receives it um and goes straight there and they they search the houses the flats um which was them the, the flats were cool yeah and what creepy was, what was so cool about them flats i just I don't think no there's just something they just don't look real just um um um, with the flat, what I liked about it that and um and um so even um so even facing on to the flat, so they they had this creepy they like did. aura behind it. The lift was really cleverly used, mm. the creepy aspects, and I mean even the side cast in a way were really goodly used yeah. in it. So with the old woman being like quite cuckoo. Uh, cuckoo and 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 um, yeah, I mean, the man that was threatening people for the money. Yeah, yeah, it was weird because for a, such a big, like a big thing of flats, it just seemed so creepy, and I don't know, like it, it just felt really that there's so many flats there, there's so many people, and yet there's this tiny little problem going on in this tiny little flat, completely unsuspect to anyone. Mm. And the flats looked small and compact together and claustrophobic. I think it did did add a strange feeling to the episode. You know, if this was in like a big wide open space, then but there was just something about it that, you know, when George was looking out with his window, you know, outside this flat yeah. among hundreds of them. And it's like there's this creepy problem going on that no one had no idea about in this really claustrophobic environment i can't describe the feeling of the setting but i really really liked it yeah i did as well I did. um but obviously yeah that the, they track him down discover that he's got a fear of his cupboard which uh the parents use to put all the things in which he's scared of turns out that uh it's not just the things that he's scared of that are in there there's a doll's house that's in there there's everything that's in there is sort of compressed all the noises, all the things that he's scared of, and that's where they, they all inevitably get stuck when he gets scared. They get sucked in there, um, and it's the Doctor's job to basically get everyone out and save George. Um, so we've mentioned the, the, the child actor himself. What do you think of the story surrounding him, then, the fact that it was this, this child who seemed to just be scared of something like any child would, but then it unravelled that he was, in fact, a tenser? Yeah. I think it was an mm. alien who was alone, created this environment, um, and in the end wasn't actually their son because they couldn't have kids. It was yeah. all a perception filter. Mm. What did you think of that? That that, that was good that and cleverly used. That there was um there was um there was one part of the story that I, I um so really enjoyed was was the cupboard and it, it, it and yeah, then how good that was used for that everything is scared of. Went into the cupboard, mm. and well, it and and in a way that and um the most scariest thing was the cupboard, because there was everything in the cupboard. They made it look scary as they well. They did, considering it was just this little wooden thing in the corner. Yeah, they did make it look and um so really scary. And and um and also the part I also liked was how and um it was how the doctor so and, and even George's dad so ended up being scared, so of the cupboard as well. Yeah. Well, these are the scenes in in in, in, in well, that Matt Smith does so well. These are the scripts. Oh, he does so well. Like in well, that script, he literally sold it, sold it, and pretty much sold it. Yeah, he was absolutely outstanding in it. I mean, when 
when when they get there and he obviously discovers <clears throat> what's happened with George, the way that the Doctor investigates and, you know, he he can sort of, he knows how to talk to the adults, but he knows how to talk to the kids. Yeah. And he seamlessly goes from one to the other and he goes from being really fun and bouncy to then really serious when he realises there's a problem. And then there's the scene when him and the dad are trying to, you know, decide whether to, to go in, in the cupboard or not. Or, or whether to, whether that to was open really it. good. And now. the doctor's basically saying, right, we're not opening it. We're not opening it. We're not. Let's stop being scared. We're going to open it. We're not going to do that. That's absolutely horrific. We're never going to open it. And then when, the, when, when Alex thinks he's made his mind up, he just turns around and goes, we're going to go open it. And he walks off and Alex was like, what are we doing? Are we opening it or not? Um, yeah, it was a great mix of fun and actually selling this cupboard to actually be scary. And that was completely sold all by Matt. Yeah, definitely. Who was 100%. just oh, outstanding. Was... Just perfect for this sort of an episode. It, it's recently that every time so I go back to watch um, um, a Matt Smith story, I love him he, uh, so even more I do. So than I did before. Yeah. You really realise what an absolutely excellent doctor he was. Was it the time... Like, um, we even you had a bad thing. He was like, um, it's obviously David Tennant being your favourite doctor. Yeah. So you're like, no, I can't accept this man. But yeah, uh, but uh, as you go back in time and and yeah, you know, and um, so even his bad story, he he's he's so bloody good. He holds up so many stories. He, does. he, he really does. And to be fair, this might this might have fell. I mean, I certainly think the first half of this story would have fell into mediocrity if, if Matt Smith wasn't yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because the whole idea around the kid um, and the cupboards and things, but you know, that that could have easily became cringy, boring, um, slow and dull, but his doctor, he brings so much energy that just keeps you, you oh, know, he, what's he in the 100%. cupboard? Who's this kid? You know, he he was such a credit to this episode, oh, Matt Smith. He was 100% a credit. Standing. And that really helped with the kid and the revelation, obviously, that they didn't have, you know, when the doctor... Because, again, the, the doctor looked at the, the pictures and went, well, you know, she, she, you've got a kid in March, but she's not even got a bump at Christmas. Yeah. And uh, when it clicks, the penny drops, you're like, oh, OK, it takes another level. Yeah. And I thought that was really, really cool, um, how that, that all sort of transpired. Obviously, that took up quite a bit of the episode. What I will say before we go more in depth towards the end, is the pacing of the episode was my only issue. Yeah, I agree. Because it it felt like they built... I mean, it's not because the it was it was dull or the build-up was great, but the build-up to the eventual climax. final climax was too long, I think, and then the ending and the solution was too quick. Like, we were in that doll's house for... Very, very brief moments, especially the Doctor and Alex. And as soon as they got there, they were out again. Yeah. And it, it, that was my thing. The pacing felt... I think I think when Gattis was writing this, he got so, inter- like, so entwined into the script. I think when he got to the ending, he, re- he realised, crap, I've got about five minutes. Yeah. I need to wrap this up. D- yeah, And that's yeah. the only thing, the pacing of it... Just rush it all together at the felt end. Felt a yeah. bit off. I, I, I would have liked more time... In that doll's house. Yeah, in well, in but I'd be the same because in in well, if even not in um, so with the build up, it was good, but in yeah, but in a way, there was um, there was far too much time spent in the house with the cupboard, uh, and, and in a way, n- not enough time. Um, so in the doll's house, so exploring the doll's house. The dolls that looked so bloody creepy. Mm, yeah. Would have absolutely loved to have seen more of them dolls. Yeah, I would as well. Was executed out a bit better, like and um maybe in the end, um in well uh, them dolls, um so maybe coming out the cupboard off just something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um Do you also know just to creep that factor up a bit more? Yeah, I agree. Um <coughs> I was even though I was even though in um so it was a pleasant story to watch, the action there wasn't really enough for me. No, not until the end. I mean, once they got there, obviously we saw the old woman get um sort of eaten alive by bin bags. Um, <laughs> Amy and Rory fell down a lift. They were quickly sort of. 
they spent a lot of the episode in that. Yeah. In the doll's yeah. house. Um, yeah. First half, they didn't have much to do. They were just trapped in there. You know, they get a scene every now and then discovering that, you know, it wasn't a doll's house and that, you know, the, the fruit was plastic and stuff, which was, you know, cool little hints. Well, this story, in a way, so could have worked um, without, um, so without Amy and Rory. Oh, easily. Yeah, easily. Um, the, all they had to do was discover that it was a doll's house, which we found out anyway. Um, and I guess with Amy being turned into a doll, that ramped up the seriousness a little bit. I think we needed that that next level of, of crap. These, yeah, these yeah. dolls aren't just yeah. going to walk around looking weird. If they get hold of you, you, you know, they, they'll turn you into one of them. And, and, and the scene, especially when the, the, the landlord got, oh. and his head inflates and he turns and it, oh. it was the childish little music and the such, giggles. Oh, that was such a good scene. Yeah. It really was like, and them dolls w- would literally scare the crap out of you mm. as a child. The perfect... That, you know, that it's it's little, it's creepy things like that yeah, that really yeah. get you. Yeah. Dolls and kids laughing. And the first couple of scenes in the house when Amy and Rory had walked past the camera and you'd see a shadow in the at the end of the that, corridor. Oh, that was so good. You're like, oh, oh. Yeah, that was so good. I can imagine first time that would that would have really built that yeah, doll's yeah. house up. You'd have been like, oh my God, what is that? Yeah. So I liked, I, you know, the build up to that was pretty good. And then when we got there in the end, the doctor arrives and then it's 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 very quick. He sort of meets them on the stairs when they're backing him up, and George can hear him through the the the, the cupboard, and he goes back in and basically, I guess he, he faces his fear. Yeah. But in the end, what is needed is that he needs to be accepted by his parents, and it's when his dad accepts him that's when everything and all his fears go away. What do you think of that? That that this house of fears is solved by him being accepted by his parents. A bit weird. I, th- I was a bit cringy. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was cringy, like, and, and, well, for the whole time, he wanted to be accepted by his parents. Not, not actually that. So he had a fear. It, that, that's what confused me, because, and, yeah, because at the end I was thinking, so is he scared? Of, in well, in well, some of the cupboard, are the things in the cupboard or not? I think it was both. I think he was scared of them, and then he was worried that because he was scared, that was quite cross wired to me. They they were just gonna sort of not help him, and mm. I think that was what it. But the, the, I, 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 um, so I have to say the ending did disappoint me. Yeah, look, yeah. It, I, 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 um, so I found it disappointing that, yeah, that and. And, and well like you said that the ending was sh- like um so wrapped up like like boom gone and that was it yeah that's that's one of the things i'd say i think it was just it was nice in a way because it's an alien that needs to be accepted but didn't have the climactic big no, finish that yeah. i think the episode needed um so yeah other than that it, it was okay obviously we've touched upon how good matt was Amy and Rory were good for what they had. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were, they were decent, but the, yeah. uh, um, again, more. they were just hardly used. Yeah, or not in, much, in it, much so, yeah. Um, and Daniel Mays, who, who, who's been in a lot of different programmes as, as the dad, I thought he was very oh, good. I, 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 I've, uh, in, well, uh, so I've always liked him you know, uh, as a actor, in, well, ever since I've seen him in Line of Duty 1. Brilliant yeah, he's, he's been in quite a few yeah. things. Um, Brilliant actor. Really good actor. I liked him a lot, yeah. definitely. But, I mean, other than that, there's not much <coughs> else to this. No. It um, really isn't. So, it is just another... It's another little episode that's just tucked away and... I, I say that, I have a question for you. Um, um, so, would you go watch this again? So, with a random pick out? Or... Do you think you'd pass? Um, I don't see why I'd pick it out again ahead of anything. But that's yeah. not that's not because it's bad. It's not. It's far from it. It's a decent episode, but it just gets lost in the shuffle. It does in a way. It does. Yeah. I mean, mm. there's, there's nothing particularly that stands out apart from the dolls. But I think there's plenty of other villains and creepy other like other creepy villains in episodes that are just as creepy, if not more creepy. So. This, everything about this episode sort of had an okay level 
but there's nothing in it that 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 steps up to that wow. It, there's nothing in this episode that, that has that wow factor that steps up mm. and makes it stand head and shoulders above any other episode. I think yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It, it's just very average and solid and decent, yeah. but there's nothing in it apart from the dolls and the the conversion scene when when they get turned into. Apart from that, there's nothing else unique or special about it that would make me go that's why i want to pick this episode out yeah 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 but there, there's I nothing agree, yeah but on the same thing on the other hand there's nothing stand out that's bad that would make me recognize this episode because obviously there's episodes i'll i'll look at when i look on my shelf and and specifically point out that i don't want to watch them yeah. you know you'll look at your shelf and there's episodes that you'll specifically point out and want to watch because there's something unique you like about them. At the same time, there's episodes on that shelf that I look at on the other hand and go, I don't want to watch you because you've got that in it or you do that. Yeah, yeah. But this episode hasn't even got that. Like, yeah. it, there's nothing about it that I particularly look at and go, well, I don't want to watch it because I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing I don't like about this episode, but there's nothing I particularly love either. Yeah. So it's just, it's there. It is, it is. One of their episodes. I it is. So ranking time then. Yeah. I mean, rating out of 10, I think... I think it... For as much as we've said it is average, the, the it would make sense to give it a 5. But I think because I did enjoy it and I was pleasantly surprised by it, I'd probably give it... And for Matt as well, I think I'd probably give it a 6. Yeah. Um, uh, agreed there with the six. Yeah, Matt. Matt is certainly. Oh, if there is one, it. and again, one of the things that I guess I do love in this episode is Matt. But I love him in every episode. So yeah, that, that, yeah, that doesn't yeah. make this episode stand out any differently to in, most of the others. Um, in the ranking, it um, so it was kind of hard to rank this episode because uh, <laughs> even though I enjoyed it, so it isn't one of them classics. So that you can put above the other. So out of 62, I have placed it in 40th. Ah, that's... I'm, I'm quite close, actually. Are you quite close? Yeah, considering there's 62 episodes now, they're getting so hard to rank. Oh, they are. They and, are. And um, mm. the chances of us putting two together that are pretty close isn't that nailed on either. I've got it 42nd. Oh, so we are quite close then. Mm. What what's below it in yours? The Battle of Ralph the Wren. Oh, right. <laughs> um, 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 Wren Forty One is the next the next Doctor for me. Oh yeah, I've got it below the next Doctor. Um, and it's below the next Doctor Time the Doctor, and it's below Thin Ice. Oh, and and um, here and um, so on for me just above it is is Time of the Doctor. Oh, no, we're not too different. No, we're, we're, we're not too different there. Yeah. Like we say, you can you can find the full retro review ranking on the website, um, whoalex.com. It's on there in full for you now. There's 62 episodes that we are ranking the as we go on. The journey into the classics as well. Yes, we're ranking them as well. So that's our rating and ranking. It's it's nice it's another one ticked off, and we feel pretty similarly on it. Yeah, so. we do. Actually, we do. Yeah. Mm. Well, there we go. So if you've enjoyed this retro review, guys, always hit the like button. Do subscribe to this channel for much more weekly retro reviews and journey into the classics live streams and reviews we've also got something pretty exciting happening soon yes once it's all something finalized. that we can't wait to announce something that we can give back to you guys yes. it's going to be awesome um and yeah like i say uh, alter we alternate between the classics and the moderns every week so this sunday live again 7 p.m but it will be a classic this week and it will be the horror of fang rock that's gonna be that's gonna be really good. I can't. I, I um. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh I yes. I'm looking. Forward I've to seen it before. Liv hasn't. It's. I, I think it's a pretty good episode. A bit of Tom again. A bit yes. of Tom. But until next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, leave a comment section below your thoughts on this episode, where you'd rank it, how you'd rate it, and uh, you, there's a playlist on this channel with all the other 61 reviews. If you wanna indulge. In lockdown, if you've got not much else, there's 61 other <laughs> reviews to it. watch. Go for I it. dare you to watch them all. <laughs> in order, without stopping. <laughs> if you can endure my voice for 62 videos <laughs> without stopping, I will give you a mention <laughs> in a video. 
<laughs> there, there you go, there, guys. There, you go. there is your challenge. There's your incentive. There's your challenge. But until next time, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.